Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to recreate this Taylor Swift inspired makeup look with products you can easily find at your local drugstore or pharmacy. You might also pick up some awesome dance moves. Well, I like to think they're pretty awesome. I'm obviously a cat now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Taylor Swift wore these adorable cat ears in her music video 22, so I thought I would pull them out. And I'm a total crazy cat lady, so any excuse to be a cat. For the entire eye look today, I'm using this Maybelline quad. You want to apply some sort of eye primer all over your eyelid and also to the brow. I'm taking this colour here and applying that to my brows to define them. Now I am taking the lightest colour from my quad and applying that all over my lid up to the brow bone. Next I'm taking this bronze shadow and applying that to my crease, focusing the intensity on the outer corner. I'm using my Sigma E25 brush to blend in the product. I absolutely love this fluffy brush. You also want to apply the shadow to the outer section of your lower lid as well. Next, this is optional, but if you like, you can line your upper eyelid. I'm using a pencil liner to do this, and you can also wing it out a little if you like. Now to set the liner, you must set it with some eyeshadow, just so that it doesn't smudge around or move around throughout the day. Your eyelids can tend to be quite a bit oily, so you want to press in some eyeshadow with a flat brush to ensure that the liner does not move. Once your eyeshadow is done, you can move on to your face. I always recommend doing your eyes first in case you make a boo-boo, that way it can be easily wiped away. I am using my fingers to apply this Maybelline BB Cream. Make sure your hands are clean, of course. Did I mention how much I'm loving BB Creams lately? BB Creams first originated in Asia. Now, however, the formulas are more westernized. I have totally swapped up my daily foundation for BB Creams. Next, I am going in with this Rimmel Match Perfection Brightening Pen thingy and applying this to the highest points of my face as a highlighter and blending it in with my fingertips. Since my skin tends to get oily around the center of my face, I'm applying some mattifying powder to make sure I don't go greasy and shiny throughout the day. Next, I'm going to contour my face slightly using my Sigma F40 brush with a matte bronzer. I'm also going to contour my nose ever so slightly, just the tip of it, to make it look a little bit more narrow. And I'm applying some of my NYX blusher in Angel just for a little bit of color to my face. As for the lips, I'm using this Wet n Wild lipstick. On camera, it's showing up a little hot pink, but in life, it's more of a cranberry pinkish color. I know Taylor mostly wears red lipstick, but since this tutorial is aimed at my younger viewers, I thought this color would be more appropriate. But if you like, you can wear a red lip or even just some pink gloss. Whatever tickles your pickle, really. So if your brows are anything like mine and they can't be tamed, apply some clear brow gel to fix the problem. Every time I say they can't be tamed, I feel like I'm singing the lyrics to the Miley Cyrus song. And apply mascara to your top and bottom eyelashes. Now since I don't have a full fringe and Taylor does, I thought I would apply this clip-in one. Since this fringe is a little bit too golden for my hair, I'm going to apply some brunette dry shampoo and comb that in. To put in the fringe, I'm going to start by combing my hair back and then parting it down the center. Because my fringe gets in the way, I'm just going to tuck that behind my ear and then simply clip in the fringe and comb it into place. Now, how could I go past this adorable cat ears headband? Taylor wore one like this for her music video 22, so I just thought it would finish off the entire look. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can subscribe for free updates and notifications when I upload new videos. You can also connect with me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links will be in the down bar below the video. Have you seen my last video? for you guys and this is actually going to be a pretty little liars video it's gonna be
be different than all my other Pretty Little Liars videos where I do my recap and reaction videos for you guys. This one is actually going to be a get the look for you. And I am going to be showing you guys how to get Aria Montgomery from the show. But this video is also really exciting because this is going to be a collab video with four of my friends here on YouTube. And you are going to be able to see every single one of the main girl characters on Pretty Little Liars. We are each going to be doing one of the main characters. So Carrie from 615 Care Bear is going to be showing you guys how to get Alison De Laurentiis' look from the show. Kim from Makeup by Kim is going to be showing you guys how to get Spencer Hastings' look from the show. Courtney from Courtney Lundquist is going to be showing you guys how to get Emily Fields' look from the show. And Danny from Style by Danny is going to be showing you guys a look inspired by Hannah Marin. So if you guys are interested in seeing any of those other inspired looks, all the girls' videos and their channels will also be linked in the description box below this video, and you guys should definitely go check all of them out, show them some love, and subscribe to their channels because these girls are seriously amazing. They put out amazing content. They all work so hard on their videos, and I just love each and every one of them. And I know if you guys go check them out, you are going to fall in love with them also. But if you are interested in seeing how I got this Aria Montgomery-inspired look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Alright guys, so starting off, I've already applied my foundation. And then I'm just going in with my Lorac Pro 1 palette, and I'm taking the color Taupe on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just taking this color and blending it into the crease of my eye, and using this as my transition shade for this look. Then I'm going in with the color Pewter from the palette, and I'm taking that on a flat shader brush, and I'm just packing this color onto the lids of my eye. Aria is always rocking a brown smoky eye on the show, so I'm going to be using a lot of brown eyeshadows for this look. Then I'm going in with the color Espresso from the palette, and I'm taking that on a smaller crease brush and just blending this into the outer V of my eye, just to add a little bit more depth and definition and just really smoke out this look. Then I'm going in with a gel eyeliner and just applying a really thin layer of that on my upper lash line. This doesn't have to be neat or precise or anything like that because then I'm just going to go in with a clean pencil brush and just blend this out. And this is really going to give you that signature Aria smoky eye. So just go in and blend out that liner. Then I'm going in and applying some Half Ardell Fake Lashes and then also some Mascara. And then just applying a cream eyeshadow as a highlight underneath my brow bones. And then going in with Stila Eyeshadow in the color Kitten and applying that onto the inner corners of my eyes and also dragging it slightly along the lower lash line of the inner corner of my eye just to brighten this look up a little bit. Then Aria's signature is her really bold eyebrows and her smoky eyes. So to get her bold eyebrows, I'm just using my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit and taking the darkest shade in this palette and then filling in my eyebrows a little bit darker and fuller than I normally would fill them in. And I'm going in and highlighting and concealing with my Maybelline Brightener Concealer and just applying that to the high points of my face and just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going in and smoking out my lower lash line. Aria always has a really smoked out lower lash line, so I'm just taking that color Espresso and just dragging that along my lower lash line and then going in with that pencil brush to really smoke it out even more. Then just popping some mascara on my lower lashes. And then Aria has such big eyes that to get that look, I'm just popping a nude eyeliner on my waterlines to really open up my eyes and make them really bright. And I'm going in and bronzing up my skin tone just a little bit, but nothing too crazy since Aria always has that really beautiful pale skin. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Spellbound Blush and just popping that onto the apples of my cheeks and just blending that in. And then for Aria's lips, she always has a really nice berry stain on her lips, so I'm just taking this Revlon lip butter in the color Lollipop and rubbing that in with my finger to give a nice shade, and then topping it off with a nude gloss. And then that is it for Aria's makeup. So now moving on to her hair, Aria wears her hair in a bunch of different looks on the show, but I decided to go with her really big loose curls that she is always rocking. And to get that look, I'm just taking a two inch curling wand and wrapping about one inch sections of my hair around the wand. And I'm wrapping each of these sections of hair going away from my face. And you just wanna go ahead and continue that process all the way around your head. 
And then you just want to go through and shake out the curls and then you'll be left with these really loose curls to get that Aria look. So now moving on to the outfits. This is my first outfit inspiration I took from the show. Aria is always mixing floral print dresses with leather jackets and tights. My dress is from Toby.com. My jacket I've had for a while, but I think it is from Yes4.com. My booties are from Charlotte Russe along with my necklace and my tights are from Forever 21. So now on to outfit number two. This is one of my favorite looks that Aria has ever worn on the show. My jacket is the same as the last outfit and the key to this look is the fringe scarf and I actually ended up finding this at Charlotte Russe. My cutout angel wing back top is from Rue 21. My boots are from Charlotte Russe along with my pleather leggings. And then that is it. That is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Aria Montgomery inspired video. Make sure to check out all the other ladies videos that will be listed in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.